And not only the gentleman, but you can get you to stand up and move your caps as we honor our country, the nation's star Jane Banner. Welcome to Lake Orion Dragon Hockey tonight against the Rochester United Highlanders and Falcons. So we don't even know what to call them. So we'll just call them United. So tonight we got the, the Lake Orion Dragons who are, let's see what the heck they are. Is What's their record? We have to look that up. He's got it written down here somewhere. 11-4-1 to the Dragons this year against the 9-7 Rochester United. So tonight we've got an early game tonight. You said 8:20 start. Tonight we got a 6:25 start, and the starting lineups for the Dragons tonight. Let's start with Rochester. Starting lineup in goal: double zero, Kyle Kuiper. Forward number five, Owen Farley. Forward Parker Olaski, who is their leading scorer with 32 points. Nathan Young on D. Avery Lutch on D, and Dominic Alter with 10 assists at the other forward for the Lake Orion Dragons tonight. In goal, number 30, Ethan Paragi, as, as most of the time we get Ethan. 26, Brandon Pico at forward. Number 12, Austin Maines on defense. Jack Knighting on forward. Carter Knighting on D, and Samuel Haynes, leading scorer for the Dragons with 32 points at center. Here we go, as the game's underway, puck drop. Rochester going backwards in their zone. They give it away and off sides. But uh, a, kind of a strange play almost at uh, number 74 for Rochester. Dominic Alter carried it all the way back into his own zone and decided to pass it across his own blue line and hand it to Knighting who uh, took Haynes in off sides. Haynes wins the draw to Knighting. He picks up the puck. Drops back for Pete Cohen. He dumps it in the corner. Haynes gives battle. Puts a body check on number 26 for Rochester. Austin Lutch. Rochester comes out. Two on two. Against the Dragons D. Shot fired wide. Rochester goes deep. There's one hit. Rochester goes deep. Comes back around for Knighty. He can't get control. And the puck comes out of the Rochester zone. Dragons dump it deep. Farley dumps it all the way across ice. Orlowski gives chase with number five for the Dragons. Jacob Basikow, he carries it out, puts it to the blue line, giving away. Graham can't get control. Basikow regroups back in his own zone. All the way, great cross ice pass for Granicelli. He carries it in. Great shot from the high slot along the half boards. And uh, one quick shot for the Lake Orion Dragons. And Taylor for Rochester dumps it in deep. 14 for Lake Orion gives chase in his own zone. Tate Vanderwerf, and there's a battle along the boards. Number 17 for the Dragons comes out with it. Landon Graham. Graham up the boards to Granicelli back across his own blue line. And there's a hit, nice hit for Rochester, number 16, the alternate captain. 
Puts the big body on, uh, that was Drew Jarek forward. Puts the body on the Dragon forward. And Rochester gains control in the corner. Little roughing up in the corner, Graham gives battle. Lake Orion clears, that's gonna be an icing on the Dragons. Let's take care of some business right now. Orion Neighborhood Television is hosting its 13th annual food drive, benefiting the Oxford Orion Fish Food Pantry. This year's virtual food drive kicks off on Monday, February 6th, and runs through Friday the 10th. ON TV will be broadcasting live from noon until 2 p.m. from noon until 2 p.m. and 7 until 9 during the week. You can tune in to watch it on Comcast Cable 10. ATTU versus 99 Roku, ON TV's Facebook page, or visit orientv.org. Help us reach our goal of 5,000 bucks by contributing to our GoFundMe page drive. 100% of the funds raised will go directly to the Fish Food Pantry to help those in need. For more information, call us at 248-393-1060 or visit orientontv.org. Back to live action. 22 for Orion carries it in, dumps it in the corner. Rochester gets control and they wing it around the point. And Dragons Aiden Maines dumps it deep and the puck comes loose out to neutral zone. Number eight for the Dragons, captain number eight for the Dragons, Hudson Wade dumps it across the neutral zone and caught in a change, Rochester's in. Bissell number 21, but Dragons get, get back in plenty of time and it comes back around. And we got uh, roughing on both. Uh, it looks like we got two penalties here. Number six for the Dragons is going to the sin bin, Brandon Graham. And we got uh, we got a slash on Graham. And number ten for Rochester is going to get a hold, Jack Myers. So we're going to go to uh, I believe five on five hockey. This is just a coincidental penalty here. So the faceoff will be to the left of Ethan Paragi in the Lake Orion Dragon zone. On the draw for the Dragons, Sam Haynes. Haynes wins the draw, loses control. Number 74 for Rochester. Alter dumps it deep, can't get control. Dragons lose control, number 24. We're not gonna consider that a hit. Knighting loses control. And there's a trip on Knighting. Lazy played, stopped moving his feet, and Rochester pulls her goalie for the extra attacker. Lutch has it in his own zone. He puts it up to a neutral zone, and they lose control. Number 24, Knighting, who's taken the penalty for a lazy man's trip, is going to the penalty box. And let's see where that fits on our little where Mr. Knighting is. Let's see, 24, let's see here, where is it? Carter Knighting. He's got, uh, he's only got eight penalty minutes, so he's now into double digits on the penalty minutes for the Dragons. Killing the penalty for the Dragons. Number 18, Nick Granicelli at forward. Vanderwerf on D. Derek Ryberg at the other forward, and I can't see who their defenseman is. So Dragons will be shorthanded here with 13.30 left in the first. Lose the draw. Murphy at the point. Puts it to the wall. Vanderwerf gives chase. Puts a big hit right there on the Rochester player. Rochester has control. Cross point pass, and Granicelli is able to clear. 22 for Rochester, Nathan Young, their captain, has the puck. He dumps it deep to number 19. Parker Orlowski comes all the way around. He loses control. Dragons Vanderwerf in the corner, can't pick up the puck. Murphy at the point, number 24, cross point pass to number 22, their captain. Number five for the Dragons gains control. Looks like he's going to be able to clear. Nice clear for Jacob Basikow and Rochester's number 22 Young is going to park behind his own net and regroup here, get a plan.
dumped in deep by the Dragons. And they're not going to get a clear. Murphy at the point has the puck. Cross point pass number 22. He fans on the wrist shot. Dragons can't gain control. Orlowski has it in the corner. Makes a nice move. Still has control up the blue line. Back to the point. Across to Murphy. Not a good pass. Murphy still able to pick it up. Right in the slot. And the puck's deflected wide by Dragons Aiden Mains and cleared out to center ice. Puck off the glass at center ice. And in comes number five for Rochester. Farley. Picked up by Granicelli. Right out in front, the Rochester guy can't get control. Nine seconds left on the power play, number 21. Alter has it, takes a shot. There's a block shot by Mains on the penalty kill. Nice shot, Dragons are able to clear, and that's the end of the penalty. 24 Knighting back on the ice. Dragons back at full strength. Orlowski has it. Haynes gets away with a slash. No, he doesn't. He knocks a stick out of the Rochester hands, and he's going to get called for a slash. Kind of a weak call, but he did knock his stick out. Dragons right back on the penalty kill. Yikes, Coach Kresge can't be too happy about that one. Let's go mobile with ONTV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on any of your mobile devices. Connect with ONTV to see what's happening in our studio, see upcoming events, and watch ONTV programs in high definition on demand. ONTV, working to bring Lake Orion to the world. Dragons back on the kill. They're not able to clear. Back to, to Nikolic, to Jarek in the corner. He loses control. Knighting puts a body on him. Here's a nice hit by number Uh, nice hit for the Dragons. Um, who was that? I couldn't tell. So a nice hit on the uh, Rochester forward on the penalty kill by Landon Graham. So there's a hand pass. Ryberg will take the draw here. The Ryberg on the wing. And it's offense's own faceoff. Granicelli, Mains. Rochester gains control to Taylor, all the way across ice. Nice pass. Rochester goes in one on three. Granicelli's able to knock the puck and clear. Can't get control, but working hard. Ryberg, number 20, can't get control. Ryberg and Granicelli crash into each other. Knighting has it, and he's able to clear. Didn't see Granicelli at center ice, or he'd had a breakaway. Nikolic, number 27 for Rochester, back behind his own net, trying to regroup here on the power play. Granicelli gives chase, causes Nikolic to lose control, and out comes Rochester across her own blue line. They lose control, but gain control back. Number six for Rochester, Jack Taylor can't get control. Dragons, number five, is able to clear. All the way down behind the net, number 22, Young, regroups behind his own net. 41 seconds left on the Raj, on the uh, United panel on the United power play to Orlowski, one of their top scorers, number 19. He wheels center ice and just dumps it in, and Peacock can't uh, control, so he loses the rebound. Rochester picks up the puck. Number five for Rochester puts it back to the point, back in the corner for Orlowski around the net to Alter. Alter can't gain control. Comes to center. Comes right to center, right in the middle of the net, and uh, nobody's able to knock it in. Dragons able to clear, and six seconds left in Rochester. The United Club is uh, failed on their second power play, second consecutive power play in the first inning. Orlowski can't can't get a Ryan Vanderwerf. Puck is uh, blindly cleared by Landon Graham right to the Rochester player. Vanderwerf has it. He blindly clears it up. Doesn't get enough juice on it. Murphy can't gain control. Orlowski takes a shot, nothing good from there. Nice block by the Dragons. And Dragons ice the puck. Kind of a sloppy game here in the first period. Kind of rusty for the play-by-play -play guy. It's been about two months since I was here. But we're glad everybody's tuning in to the live stream here. Huge crowd here at uh, Detroit Skating Club. Um, I think Dragons got about nine students 
Rochester's got less than nine. Up the puck comes, Dragons win the draw. Dopke dumps it right in on goaltender Kuiper. He holds on, offensive zone faceoff. Dopke number 19 at forward with uh, number 15, Ethan Natavo, Natavio. And number 27, don't even see that number 27 on our roster here. Only, it looks like. Put a nice hit there for the Rochester player. Dragons clear, it's picked off by Jarek. <coughs> and he loses control. Puck comes out to, uh, puck comes out to Dopke. His stick gets caught in the boards. And uh, another icing on the Dragons, this time number 12. Doesn't step to the center ice line, Austin Maines, and he just dumps it deep. Face off in the offensive zone for, the, for Rochester United. Thanks to Lake Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting. You can watch Lake Orion High School Sports Live online all year. We've got a full schedule of varsity basketball, hockey, and more this winter, plus concerts and ceremonies. It costs less than 11 bucks per month. That's like one and a half Starbucks coffees to watch live sporting events. And half of that money goes right back to Lake Orion High School program where guys like Raymond standing next to me in the broadcasting uh, department get uh, all the cool benefits. Be sure to designate Lake Orion High School when you set up your account. Get started at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. ON TV thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication to bring Dragon Sports to the world. Dragons knighting, can't get control at center ice. Sorry about the delay, back to Orlowski. Orlowski, he steps all the way in. Great back check by Haynes. Haynes loses his footing. Comes out. Knighting can't get control too bad. Oh, and he picks it up. They just dump it right into his, into his feet. Haynes has it. He loses control. Pico can't get control. It looks like it's Rochester's turn the ice to puck. And we're going to have an offensive zone faceoff with 7.04 left here in the first period. Still no score. Not a lot of shots. I think we got two shots for Rochester. Uh, block, what do we got, two shots on goal? Three for the Orion, two for Rochester. Um, what we're seeing, not much, uh, kind of a neutral zone, sloppy, kick it around hockey game. Graham at center, Vanderwerf on D, Granicelli on the wing for the Dragons. Graham loses the draw. Puck comes all the way down and around. Dragons chose to not play it at center ice, and Jacob Baskell goes back to get it. He's bumped off the puck. Nice hit by number nine on Baskell. Knocks him off the puck. Vanderwerf can't get control. Rochester comes out with it. Can't seem to get control. Dragons are just uh, not doing a good job getting control. Granicelli now has it, two on two. He gets around Murphy. Nice toe drag, hauled down, but no penalty. Dragons Vanderwerf puts it in front of the net. Granicelli can't seem to pick up the puck, and out comes Taylor, one on three. Nice center ice hit by Dragons number 20. Um, stood him right up at center ice. Nobody went down, but it was a good body check by Derek Ryberg. Derek's a big fella. Nice hit by number 24, Murphy, on Ryberg. Kind of returning the favor. Puck comes around, clears it to the center ice. Dragons fired in deep, finish up on a line change. Kuiper gets behind the net, holds onto the puck. Winged all the way around, but Maines can't hold it in. He dumps it back in on the backhand. Offsides, Dragons got to regroup. Cole almost pulled a groin, stopping on the blue line. Graham can't get control. Cole can't knock it away. In comes Alter, one on two against the Dragons. Puck clear wide. Nice whack, Dragons choose to ice the puck one more time. Watching this first period, I would almost think that uh, neither team's 11 and four. The Dragons are 11 and four. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me, Rochester 9-7-1, and, and it doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like that tonight. Uh, the first goal is going to be big. The Dragons, the defensive zone faceoff, 5 18 left in the first. Dragons lose the draw. Rochester can't put it on net. Number four for the Dragons carries it out. Pass the center ice up to Graham. Graham, long shot from the high slot. Nice save by Kuiper. And out comes number five, Fralick. Farley, I'm sorry. And he can't go wide on Mains. Puck comes right out to the slot. Great play by Farley. And number first goal of the game goes to Rochester United. Play made by Farley. Didn't see who, who, who scored the goal. But uh, I think that was Alter. But the play made by Farley, great play. Dragons didn't put the body on him right out to the slot. Nobody picked up the open man. And quite honestly, uh, Baragi had no chance. So Dragons win the draw. Pico can't get control. Mains has it. He fires it at the net. That's deflected by Knighting. Haynes back to the point. In an ill-advised pass. The Rochester player was right there. Rochester comes out two on one. Orlowski loses the puck on a one-on-one -on -one play. Farley has it. Orlowski's left all alone. Deep. Nobody on the defensive side. Knighting just decides to give it to Farley. Ah, you take it. I don't want it. Knighting lost every battle in the corner there. Number 17 for the Dragons. He aimlessly puts it out to Culatella. He throws it at the net. Block shot by the Dragons. Another block shot by the Dragons. Knighting. And out comes Haynes. One on, three on two. Haynes goes wide. They haul him down. They're going to get a penalty on Kuatula as he hauls Haynes down as he tried to go wide at the blue line. No disputing who that was. Referee couldn't decide whether to give him a hold or give him a hook. But uh, regardless of what the call is, it's a uh, dragon power play with 348 left in the first period. Rochester United up 1-0. Shots on goal right now. Four for the Dragons. Three for Rochester, but one of those Rochester shots went in. Grant back to the blue line. Vanderwerf, cross, ice, pass. Granicelli fires it. Dragons. Two shots on goal, one shot on goal, one off the post. It came right out. It was on the goal line. Dragons lose control. And I can't see who that was on a breakaway. Short-handed for Rochester. Dragons hit the post on the rebound, but couldn't get it behind Kuiper. Sam Haynes tries to do it all himself. Has the puck taken away. Graham has it. Haynes again. Haynes goes in. He loses control. Rochester bangs it out, uh, and puck comes up high off the, not off the netting, and Murphy, 24, is going to try to ice it for Rochester, and Haynes catches it, drops it, Graham along the half board, one-timer, great save by Kuiper, number 14, Vanderwerf, one-timer on a nice pass by Haynes, and Dragons getting their shot on goal. One minute left on the power play. one nothing Rochester United. Some paraphernalia left on the ice. Looks like a net guard. Dragons go to the number two power play unit. Knighting and Wade on the point. Face off one. Ryberg 20 to Knighting. To his brother Knighting. To his brother Knighting. Wrist shot wide. 23 Knighting, Ford picks it up to Wade, to Knighting. Knighting skates in, in the corner. Nice play, but it came out to the slot. No Dragon was there to pick it up, and Rochester United ices the puck. One more rush here, 33 seconds for the Dragon power play. Knighting number 23 carries it in. He tries to do it all by himself on the power play, picks up the puck, still has it. Tries a fancy dancy pass, didn't work, to Wade. Wade puts it on net, deflected, shot on goal. Nice save by 
Another, sa another save by Kuiper. Two shots on goal. Bill, bad ill-advised pass there by Dragons number, uh, by the forward, I don't know who that was, number six, Graham. Knighting dumps it deep on the, and that's the end of the power play, 140 left in the first. United up one nothing on the 11-4, 11 11-4 Dragons. Rochester backwards pass, drop pass in their own zone. Rochester's making all the better passes right now. No block. Out comes number five for the Dragons. Tries to carry it in all by himself. Basikow. Murphy, number 24, has the puck. Dumps it wide. Dopke has it. He shoots it off the back of the net. Graham behind the net. Back behind the net for Dopke. Right to the slot. Dopke has it. Great shot. Great save by Kniper. Dopke puts a huge hit. They're going to call. I don't know what they're going to call here. Uh, they're going to call a, a, a rough here because he body checked him. And he's going to explain to him what he did wrong. And I'd love to know because this is hockey, not ladies lacrosse. Catch that one. <laughs> so um, one of the things I don't understand about High school hockey anymore, you can't put a body check on, so you can't count that as a hit because you got a penalty for it. Um, so that was not a rough, that was that was nothing. Shot comes in, good shot by Rochester, nice save by Paragi. Rochester Orlowski picks it up on the power play. Vanderwerf gives chase, Dragons pick it up. They're able to hand it right to Orlowski to Murphy on the point. Murphy's gonna step in, take a shot. There's a nice block shot by Pico, and Pico's able to clear. 20 seconds left in the period. I don't think Rochester's gonna get up ice, but we'll see. Young regroups in his own zone to Orlowski. Vanderwerf shoves him down, picks up the puck, and a unbelievable save by Kuiper with two seconds left on Pico. It should be one to one, but Kuiper's kept him in the game. Scoring chances, Lori Gorian's had all the chances, but Rochester's got the goal. We'll see you in a few minutes for second period action of Dragon Hockey versus Rochester United. Rochester leads the Dragons right now one to zero. Welcome back, second period action. Dragons, Rochester United. United's up, one nothing. And here we go, we're gonna take care of some business before puck drop. Might run into a little play, but here we go. Orion Neighborhood Television is hosting its 13th annual food drive, benefiting the Oxford Orion Fish Food Pantry. This year's virtual food drive kicks off on Monday, February 6th, and runs through Friday, February 10th. ONTV will be broadcasting live from noon until 2 p.m. and from 7 until 9 p.m. during the week. You can tune in to watch on Comcast Channel 10, AT&T Uverse 99, Rok and on Roku, ONTV's Facebook page, or visit orionontv.org. Help us reach our goal of $5,000 by contributing to our GoFundMe drive, 100 of the percent of the funds raised will go directly to the fish food pantry to help those in need. For more information, call us at 248-393-1060. That's 248-393-1060. Or visit us on Owen, at Orion, ONTV.org. Sorry about that delay to live action. Rochester on the power play for about under 48 seconds. They have control in the corner. Vanderwerf can't take the puck away from number four. Rochester. Rochester gains control. Haynes clears the zone without the puck. Rochester brings it back in. Murphy on the point. Murphy fires it in. Paragi already down on his knees, able to catch it. Got the first shot on goal. Puck face off to the right of Ethan Paragi in the Dragon zone. 24 seconds left on the Rochester power play. Right now, Rochester, three power plays. They're 0 for 
two and three quarters of power plays, but they do have the only goal in the game. Dragons Haynes wins the draw. Lazy play around the corner. Young for Rochester picks it up. Knighting has it. He takes it all the way down the ice. 14 seconds left. Dragons give chase. Pico gives chase. Kuiper for the, the goaltender. Dumps it to, their, to his defenseman, number 24. Number 24, Murphy can't gain control. Pico is fighting for the puck, lost control. Farley has it, Alter has it, he brings it in. Fires a shot high and wide over Paragi, but that was too good an opportunity for Rochester in a one nothing game. Dragons lose control. Farley dumps it deep. Here we go, one on one. Haynes against Young, Haynes in. Haynes goes to the backhand, throws it deep. Defenseman for Rochester is able to clear it to the corner. 22 for Rochester, back to Alter number 74. Alter puts it across ice to Farley, number five. He goes in, puts himself in offsides. He didn't think he was offsides, but he was. They're going to take this puck in front of the Dragons penalty box. 15-10 left in the second period here at Detroit Skating Club. Beautiful Thursday night. No snow in the forecast. And here we go. Graham, at the, Graham loses the draw. Ryberg steals the puck. It's around his man. He gets bumped off the puck by Jurek. Ryberg picks it back up. Graham can't gain control. He's behind the net with the puck now. Graham open in the slot. Dragon score! Granicelli on a fine pass by Graham. Ryberg, Graham, and Granicelli. One timer. Granicelli left in front of the net. I'm sitting here with Raymond, my stats guy, and he says, man, there was nobody near him. And uh, one to one, Dragons capitalized. Very similar play to what the Rochester scored on, but even less people around Granicelli there. And here we go. Maybe the Dragons get a little uh, fire in their skates tonight. Graham loses the draw. Ryberg has it. He's given, he's fighting for it. Graham gains control. But Jurek for Rochester, number 16, takes it around his own net. Passes by Bass. Jurek goes right up the middle, blows by every Dragon. Loses control. He fires it off the side of the net. Dragons can't gain control, it goes all the way around. And Rochester can't seem to hold it in. Ryberg picks up the puck. He can't get control, it goes deep. Rochester has control behind their own net. Number 40, Reyes, defenseman, just dumps it up. Back across, nobody seems to get it. Cole for the Dragons, number nine to Graham, 17. He fires it high and wide. And in the net, over the right shoulder of Kuiper, and boom, just like that. Two to one, Dragons. Cole on a fine pass. On a fine pass to number 17, Graham, who lets a snapshot go over the right shoulder of Kuiper, and here we are, just like that. Less than three minutes into the second period, and the Dragons take a 2-1 lead on the first two shots of the period. So I think whatever Coach Krefsky said in the locker room, uh, and I'm sure it was not very pleasant. Um, sunk in. Dragons, Graham, number six, wins the draw. Sierrani dumps it deep. Graham gives chase out to the blue line. Vanderwerf holds it in, loses it to Bissell. Picciarini, number 22 of the Dragons. Chirini. Vanderwerf puts it in. Torini has it. He puts it out to the front. Number five for the Dragons. Blocked shot by Rochester. Oh, and a nice hit by Rochester. And out comes Orlowski. And they score. Orlowski makes another fine pass to Bissell on a two-on-one. And Paragi has absolutely no chance. And Orlowski, number 19, goes wide. Puts it right on Bissell's stick, who's a left hand, who's a right-handed shot, and up and over the left pad at Paragi, two to two. And with uh, four minutes into the second period, we've seen three goals. We saw one in all of 17 minutes, and uh, it's become a scoring fest here. And Orlowski did not score that goal. 
How about Bissell from Orlowski? They got that wrong. So I'll correct that. Puck in front of the net. Knighting now picks it up. He's going to win this race if he didn't hit it too hard. we got a three-on-one. Knighting's got to see his open man, and he does, but it's deflected wide. Pikau is covering up on the point. For Maines, goes back in, makes a nice play. 24 Knighting dumps it deep to no one. Should have looked across to his open point man and didn't. Haynes gives chase, gives a lazy, lazy effort there, gets knocked off the puck. One-handed effort. Pico, 26, throws it in front of the net to nobody with his, with his D-man Knighting wide open on the point. Big hit by Knighting. And Maines picks it up over to the other Knighting brother, number 24 on D. Back across to Maines. He can't control, but the Dragons do have the puck. They put it to center ice. It's deflected wide. And giving chase is number 23, Knighting. And he missed that hit. Puck comes over Haynes' stick. Maine's number four. Can't seem to knock it off Orlowski's stick. Pico's covering up excellently. Great two-way forward for the Dragons, I'm noticing. Conley gets bumped off the puck. We'll give him a hit for that one. Bissell, and here we go again. Number 12 fires it. Block shot by Dragons number eight. Bumped off the puck there. Jarek bumped off the puck. Conley going after it, loses it. Maines gives chase, loses the puck. Pico gets hooked, but he's going to come out clean. Can't seem to lose his control to Jarek. He dumps it in offsides. Did you know that ONTV TV is very own internet radio station? You can create your own podcast or radio show. For more information on the radio station, give us a call. 248-393-1060. Dragons number five dumps it deep. Can't seem to gain control. Dragons have to clear. United behind his own net. Nice play. Still behind their own net. Giving Chase a couple whacks by Dragons number 21. Conley can't gain control, but he's working hard. Ottavio working hard, still in the zone. Dragons can't seem to keep it in, but Rochester can't seem to get it out either. Number 27 for the Dragons give chase. Basakow doesn't hold it in. He dumps it deep. Dragons have to clear. Giving chase for the Dragons, number 21, Sandstrom. Natevio dumps it deep. Santrum just throws it to the middle. Jarek picks it up. Number 16, Jarek's logged out of ice time. Natavio gets his rear in front of that one. Sandstrom dumps it deep. Natavio working hard here. Nobody can seem to get control. Vanderwerf steals it from Rochester, and he just aimlessly throws it at the net. It was kind of a look-off play by Vanderwerf, and... Uh, he was looking to Natavio and for Conley in front of the net, and Kuiper, the goaltender, was watching the player without the puck instead of the puck, and he just snuck it between the pads, and Vanderwerf picks the puck off after Natavio was working hard at the blue line, and we got a 3-2 score, Dragons, on top of the Rochester United. We're going to call them the Rochester United Highlander Falcons. <laughs> Dragons lose a draw. Alter can't seem to get it in. Knighting across to Graham. Ryberg pitched it up. He goes in two on two. Hard wrist shot by Ryberg. Good shot on goal. Great save by Kuiper. Nice body check in the middle of the rink by Maines. Maines picks it up. Puts it right to Ryber, right on Ryberg's stick. The Dragons are moving the puck a lot better here in the second. Ryberg trying it all alone because Graham decided not to go with the play. Graham picks it up in the corner, hits the brakes, puts it in the corner to Ryberg, back to Graham. Nice give and go, but Graham flipped it over the net. Granicelli in the corner to Graham. Graham gains control. Dragons, number eight, dumps it deep. Ryberg knocks his guy over. Granicelli picks up the puck. Ryberg's in front. He can't deflect it. Puck comes to number four, Mains. Mains wheels around. Still has the puck. Puts it on the point to number eight for the Dragons. He dumps it all the way around. 
to number 10 for the Dragons, Haynes. Haynes right in front to Granicelli. Excellent play by Haynes and Granicelli, but a fine save by Kuiper. Doubles number double zero for Rochester. 9.04 left in the second period with a 3-2 Dragons lead. Faceoff to the right of Rochester goalie Kyle Kuiper. Maines on the point after the after the draw win. He fires it all the way from the blue line. Maines, Haynes can't knock in the rebound. Good save by Kniper. Keeping my stat master over here, Raymond, busy with all these shots on goal. He might run out of ink. Another draw win by Haynes. Puck fired by Maines. Block shot deflected wide by Rochester. Haynes has it behind the net. He's going to work it over. Puts it right under Rochester's stick. And... Uh, Sly loses it, but good play by Dragons player number 26, Pico, who has been all over the ice tonight, covering up for his D-men who've been rushing. Puck goes deep by Maines, number four. He's getting back to the blue line. Pico's giving chase. Can't seem to, the knighting, can't seem to get control. Maines keeps it in. Puts it on Haynes' stick. He loses control. Knighting can't get control. And the other, the other, and Vanderwerf picks it up. Jarek stops the puck. Number 23, Knighting, loses control to Sly. Comes right out to the blue line. Rochester dumps it cross corner. Mains number four for the Dragons. Blogged a lot of ice time tonight. In the top D pair with Vanderwerf. Puck is picked up, almost picked up by Pico. That would have been a three on one, but he couldn't gain control. Sly for Rochester. Puts it on. That puck goes off the shaft of the stick of... Uh, Paragi, great but lucky save. Sly for Rochester puts it around. Mainz has it. Can't knock it away from Graham for their for the other team, for Rochester. And a great pass by Orlowski to the to the front of that for Rochester. And the Rochester number six is uh, number eight is beside himself that he couldn't knock that puck in as the puck hit the goal post. You didn't get to the shot on goal, did you? So that wasn't shot on goal, was it? Okay, good, to hit the goal post. Dragons win the draw, lose it to Orlowski. Orlowski's had a great game. Foot race for the puck. Dragons lose the foot race, but number nine for the Dragons has it, and he can't seem to get it on the stick of Conley. I think that's Conley, it, or Graham. Can't tell, Graham number six. Cole to Graham, and that failed. Cole working hard. Picks up the puck. Nice play. Conley loses control. Dragons are running their lines pretty good tonight. Vanderwerf loses control to Russell. To Orlowski. Cole puts a hook on him. No call. Graham puts a slash on him. No call. Goes to Vanderwerf. Not seeing what's, not listening to the guy coming behind him. Orlowski's playing a lot, of, logging some minutes here. Vanderwerf on the wrong wing, rushes the puck, steps around his man to Graham, number six. Vanderwerf still in deep. Finally clears, and Rochester wings it around to uh, Bissell, and Bissell just dumps it to Basakow. There's a nice body check by number 24. And they're going to call, make the same call on Rochester. He's got to look at a little white piece of paper to see what you want to call that penalty. What's he going to call it? Let's see here. They're going to call that a charge. They're inventing penalties here at uh, Detroit Skating Club tonight. Um, that's a charge. You don't see a charge in uh, hockey much more these days. Haynes wins the draw. To Graham, to Knighting, to Graham. Graham walks it to Haynes. Haynes deflects it. Nice save by by Kuiper. Haynes fires it. Block shot by block shot by Reyes. Put that down. Block shot. Pay attention, Raymond. Pay attention. I think my stats guy's taking a nap. 
Haynes, Granicelli back on the point. Haynes loses the draw. Reyes for Rochester, wings it around, and it comes clear to Taylor, one-on-one -on -one against Granicelli. Nice save by Paragi, shorthanded attempt as the puck came out all the way out, and Taylor faster than every Dragon but Granicelli. And defensive zone faceoff with Dragons, 131 left on their power play. 3-2 Dragons, 542 left here in the second period. Dragons lead their top line out. Haynes lose a draw clearly. Nice save by Paragi from the point man. Young who shot that puck. Graham has it. He puts it on Haynes' stick one-on-one. -on -one. Haynes steps around his man. And a good save by Kuiper. Save. Vanderwerf regroups as Paragi sets it up on a tee behind the net to Haynes. He loses control. Rochester is able to clear right back to Vanderwerf. Number 14, Big V. Puts it up to Haynes in the middle. Great pass. Haynes sets up. Snapper. Goes wide. Graham has it. Puts it out in front. Tries to knock it off the goalie's skate and misses his skate. So no shots on goal. No block shots in that sequence. But uh, much better play by the Dragons here in the second. 4.55 in the second period left. 24, uh, 43 seconds left on a Dragons power play. Draw one cleanly. Wade, number eight, gets it blocked. Wade back at the point. Winds up for the slapper. Deflected wide. To Knighting, number 23. He sticks, he puts it past Graham. Held in by Ryberg. Almost to clear, but held in by Wade. Back to Knighting, one-timer, blocked by, look at that, he caught it, blocked by Jurek. Got that block shot? Man, you're all over it. So here we go, 15 left on the power play, Graham on the draw, Wade on the point. Graham wins it, back to Wade. To Knighting, Rister blocked. Aimless pack to Orlowski, aimless pass. Puck cleared. Wade's gonna be able to go in one-on-one. -on -one. I think he's just gonna fire this bad boy. Oh, what a nice pass, but a little too far ahead for Knighting. Knighting puts it back in deep for Ryberg. Ryberg all by himself. Throws it in front. Puck's deflected to the corner. Orlowski has it again. The man who's all over the rink. To Farley. Farley has it. Drop pass. Uh, Rochester player hits the brakes. Knighting number 24 can't get control. Cherini, number 22, can't seem to get it, but he puts it deep. Ryberg to Cherini, puck's blocked. Dragons are making some plays here. Up three to two here in the second period against the Rochester United Highlander Falcons. Matibio on the draw with Cole. And on one wing, Knighting on the point. And Cherini on the other forward. Cherini can't, tries to get off the back of the net. Cole fighting for it right in front of the net. Knighting clears a little too soon. Knighting across ice in center to Mains. Mains puts it in, deflected, not deep enough. Natavio, good little skater, works hard. Can't get control. Rochester picks up the puck. Orlowski just dumps it in, it's deflected. And out comes Knighting, three on two. Trying to go wide here. He's got an open man, doesn't see him. Tavio wide open and Knighting didn't see him. Uh, Tavio working hard. Number 27 for the Dragons. Makes a good play behind the net, working really hard. 
Kyle Conley to the point. Fired to the point and a nice shot. Stopped by Kuiper. Basica with a twisted wrister from the blue line. So we got Conley, number 27, out there for the Dragons, 10th grader. With number 21, Sandstrom, Colin, a junior. With the puck now back to the point, held in nicely by Basikow. They're going to call a cross check on Rochester. Didn't see it, but we'll take it. We'll take it. He's shaking his head like, what the hey? That's number 24 for Rochester going to the sin bin. Tyler Murphy, defenseman. So Dragons back on the power play with their top line. Haynes wins it to the point to uh, Vanderwerf. Back to Vanderwerf. Pekow can't get control. Haynes is working hard. Almost cleared, but not. Granicelli keeps it in. Haynes has it. He's going to twist it, wrister, and a fine save by Kuiper. It's not the uh, high percentage shot from the top of the circle. Haynes should set that up a little better. 144 in the period, 141 left in the power play. Dragons leading their top line out. Granicelli on the point. He fires it high and wide off the blocker of Kuiper. Haynes behind the net, setting up. Graham wide open. Tries to make it nifty play, Haynes does. He steps out all alone. He gets stopped. Goes between his feet. Another shot on goal. <clears throat> no passes, two shots, and no goal. They got to set that up a little better. Pass the puck to the open guy in front of the net. That's how you score goals. Haynes going deep on the cross ice pass. Puck's knocked away. He picks it up, loses control, fighting hard for it. Pikau has it behind the net. He's going to come out to the top of the circle, behind the net to Haynes. If Haynes is going to do that, pick it up, try to pick the puck up and throw it in on his own with uh, five on four, he'd be, riding the, he'd be riding the pine for me. Graham can't get control. Haynes again, puck knocked off a Granicelli stick. Vanderwerf picks it up, 25 seconds left in the period. Granicelli carries it in, one on a million. Can't get control, but he's a big fella. It's be tough to knock him off the puck. Granicelli puts it in the slot. Rochester picks it up and clears, and that's gonna do it for the second period. And out come the Dragons, and that's it. So we'll be back in about 14 minutes for the final period. Three to two Dragons here against Rochester United. there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game. 
but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. You might have to listen to me, though. That's okay. I get to watch my son score that awesome unassisted goal. It was a good goal. All right, thank you. Here we go, third period action. We counting down yet, homie? Where's my guy? Well, I'm going to talk even if he's not counting. Here we are, back to live action, and I don't think I'm broadcasting, but we're talking anyway. Rochester dumps it deep. Knighting has it. Right along the post, nice save by, and just like that, off the draw, comes out to the point, Luch has it over to the, over to the dot, and I didn't see who scored that goal. But it was either Young or Farley, and it's 3-3, three to three, just like that, 20 seconds into the period.
Here we go. 3-3. Three, three. Lake Orion. Rochester United. Freiburg at the blue line. Puts it all the way around. Mains has it. To Mains at the point. Nope, he didn't get control. Granicelli had it. Graham, number 17. Soft little touch towards the Rochester goal. Luchitz has it. Where 20 Ryberg gets control. Tries to step out. Graham can't get control. Ryberg has it again. And out comes Rochester. Farley, one on three. Steps around every dragon. Puts it on. Goal. Held in by Murphy. Murphy dumps it deep all the way around the net. To Mains. Mains can't get to it. Can't catch up. He has it now. Puts it right out to neutral zone. And they're going to wave off the icing as Murphy goes to retrieve it for Rochester. He wheels it around. Comes up hard. Murphy. Murphy to center ice. And he's going to dump it all the way around the dragon net. In deep. Pico gives battle with number six for Rochester. Jack Taylor. And out comes Van Dwerf. Van Dwerf. Errant pass at center ice. And looks like Knighting didn't see the puck, and he could have picked that one up. Vandewerf back behind his own net. He gets cleared. Murphy has it for, for Rochester. They dump it deep. Rochester has to clear. Vandewerf has it. He carries it in. He dumps it all the way around. And right on net, and Kuiper holds on. So here we go. Offensive zone faceoff. Dragons top line. Haynes. Van Dwerf on the point, Pico, and Knighting. Haynes lo went, loses the draw, but it went right to Pico. Pico lost it. Haynes picked it up. No, that was uh, Knighting. Stays in. Pico has it. Puts it in front. Haynes can't get his stick to it. He picks it up. Around the net, number 16 for Rochester has it. He can't get control. Pico loses it. Knighting's going to give chase. And Rochester's almost going to clear, but Pascal holds it in. Knighting working super hard on this shift. Pico has it. He puts it in front to Haynes. Haynes can't get control. Pascal dumps it in the corner. Haynes gives chase. 27 Rochester clears. Looks like we're going to have an icing. As the top lines for Dragons, we're having continuous pressure on in the Rochester end. Score, 3-3, three 14-13 three, left in the third. What's our shots on goal, Raymond, total here? Count them up for me. Uh, 31. 31 for the Dragons and 16 for Rochester United, but the score is tied. So it looks like in tonight's matchup here, one of the top players, but we have known that, is Kuiper, the goaltender for Rochester. Dragons number 22 gives chase. Can't get control. Rochester captain number 19, Orlowski, can't clear. And Dragons can't get control. They got control. Chirini loses it. That's going to be offsides on the Dragons. Cole. We got Cole on the ice right now with Chirini, with, uh, Chirini and Graham. Got a lot of double names here, a lot of brothers. Cole, back to the point. Given away by number 24, Knighting, and clicked into the, into the Dragons bench. Kind of choppy the last minute, minute and a half here. Face off after face off. And that draw is going to come into Dragon zone because it was hit clearly from the Dragons out of play. Important draw here for number six, for number six, Graham. Brandon Graham, Chirini, Cole. Draws kind of a draw. Puck's deflected in by Orlowski. This guy has played a lot tonight. Nice pass, fanned on by Bissell. The Dragons fight for it behind the net, comes out. Mains long slap shot from the top of the circle. Nice deflected out of play by Kuiper, goaltender for Rochester United. 
Dragons are going to leave this line out there. Graham, Cole, and Chirini. Oh, and nope, we're going to make it line change here. 15, number 15. Natavio, Dopke, and Natavio, Dopke, and Connolly getting some time here on the point. Mains and Wade. Giving Chase's call. As number 16, Jurek carries it all the way in. Mains puts a hit on him. Nice hit by Mains. Behind his own net. Otavio makes a good play to Dopke. Dopke clears. Right to center ice. And, and it looks like Connolly's got a skate issue. He went down hard. Jurek loses control. Picks up the puck again. And Mains has it. Dinks around with it. Nice pass, but Natavio can't control. Conley working hard, number 27 for the Dragons. To Kuiper for Rochester. He dumps it deep, gives chase. Wade has it over to Mains. Flips it all the way across and not out. Conley can't get control. Puck doesn't come out. Double collision at center ice. Rochester can't get control. Kuiper just whiffed in front of the net on an open net. Dopke dropped his lumber. Murphy on the long shot, puts a shot on Paragi. He can't control, but he does make the save. Dragons clear it aimlessly and pick it up again. Wade to center ice for Pico. Pico gets bumped off the puck, but in goes Knighting. Knighting gives chase. Orlowski has it. Center ice to Basikow. He can't control. Farley has it in the corner. Vandwerf giving chase, whacks him a couple times. Puts his arms around him. Puck comes free to Murphy. He can't keep it in. Murphy wheels back around the center ice and he dumps it deep. Basikow gives chase. Alter 74 for Rochester's giving chase. Orlowski 19 on the puck again. Dragon's able to not clear. Comes to Basikow. Whips it around for Vandwerf. Pico has it. He passes it to the wrong team. Alter. Alter can't get control. Murphy for Rochester dumps it around. Haynes can't reach it. Knighting gives chase. He's got it near the Zamboni door. The other Knighting keeps it deep. Nope, oh, that's Vanderwerf. Vanderwerf fires it in on the goal. That goes wide. Haynes backhands it. That gets deflected deep. Block shot there by Rochester, number five, Farley. And we got Basikow and Orlowski. Orlowski to Basikow. He can't get control. Nice play by Basikow in front of the net. Basikow blocks it. Picks the puck up again. Orlowski dumps it deep. Farley gives chase for the United. Basikow puts a body on him. Dragons can't seem to clear. Farley has it again. Basikow working him over. But Farley giving, working hard. Basikow on him. Puts his arm around him. Comes to an open Rochester player alter, but he can't get control. And Vanderwerf just clears. Pico loses the clear. They wave off the icing. Pico gives chase to Haynes. Haynes tries to dipsy do around the defenseman number 40 with the wide open knighting, but Haynes didn't pass it to him. Haynes again right on the post. And we're going to call that a shot on goal as the Dragons put on a little pressure. Haynes had an opportunity to an open winger and didn't make the pass. Dragons on the draw, lose a draw, number 23 for Rochester. Chutulia dumps it and he ices the puck. Face off to the left of United goaltender Kuiper. Graham on the draw, Mains on the point, Granicelli, Ryberg. Mains has it. Nope, Granicelli picks it up. Granicelli dumps it around. For Ryberg, he gets good control. Ryberg works it back in the corner for Graham. Graham can't get control. He's bumped off the puck by uh, number 16, Young. Brace has it. 
high slapper. And it's a high slap shot there that we missed. Two big saves by Kuiper. Graham puts a body on his man. And that puck is iced by Rochester again as Rochester's on their heels as the Dragons are putting on some sustained pressure. Got a full line change for the Dragons. Wholesale line change here for Rochester as well. On for the Dragons again is the Cole Graham. The Cole Graham Torini line with Maines and Wayne. And Wade. Conley loses the draw. Or Graham loses the draw. Cole has it. Conley can't get or Graham can't get control. Puck comes clear here. To, I can't see who, to Myers, number 10 for, for United. He gets bumped off the puck. Maines is working over him. Wiffleberger by Rochester, number 21, Bissell. Dragons missed the play, but Rochester's able to keep it in. And behind the net is number nine, Mikey Sly. Myers dumps it in for Orlowski. Orlowski puts it to Mikey Sly, but he can't get control. Puck's cleared by the Dragons. It's going to be waved off. And Torini's given chase, and he kind of gives up on the play. And Young, number 22 for United, does it all by himself. And Vasikow puts a body on him. Van Dwerf in with the puck. Natavio makes a nice play. And they're going to call that puck out, came outside. Young and brought it back in offsides. Dragons running four lines here in the third period. 3-3 game, 7.55 left. And we're counting another stat tonight. Let's see what we got for hits tonight, Raymond. What do we got? We got hits in there. Rochester with nine hits, Lake Orion with eight. So that's what we're seeing, and that's not very many hits, but it is high school hockey. Vandwerf carries it in. Toe drag, almost gets control. For uh, number 21 for the Dragons, can't get it. Dopke holds it in. Tatavia puts it wide. Sandstrom gives chase. Nice hold in by Basikow, but he loses it. Kuiper one on two. Orlowski throws it deep. Murphy throws it deep for United. Puck comes clear. Orlowski has it again. Toe drag, back to the point. Twisted wrister goes wide. Murphy for Rochester has it. He puts it deep. Hard work there by Vandwerf, and that puck is cleared. To Murphy for Rochester. Orlowski again. That guy, I think he's had the puck the whole night. Murphy for Rochester has it deep. He's going wide on Vandwerf. Back to Orlowski. He can't clear, or he can't keep it deep, but now he has it again. Dragon's getting a little lazy here. Basikow has the puck. He's bumped off the check puck. Nice body check there. Nice hit. Sorry about that. And Vanderwerf just decides to ice the puck. Good choice. Dragons are going to go back to the well with one of their top lines here. See if they can generate some action with Haynes back on the ice with Pekow and with Pekow and Knighting it looks like. Austin Maines on the point. Haynes hits the brakes, fires it wide. Maines puts it on, double deflection, nice save by Kuiper. To Knighting, he makes a nice play. Pekow to Maines, that puck is deflected in, Maines to Maines. That was a great deflection right there. Number 12, I think, to number 23, Knighting. Uh, excellent deflection. By, you know, great shot by Maines. Low, deflected in. I think Knighting got that goal. We'll have to see.
So they're going to leave their top line on the ice. 5.55 left, 4-3 Dragons. Tight matchup here. Shots on goal heavily in favor of Lake Orion. Score. One, it's a one-shot game as Rochester's going to give a shot to fight back. They, they got their top line, Farley, Orlowski, and... Orlowski and Alter on the ice right now. Luch has it. He dumps it deep. Orlowski is going to touch the puck, and that's going to be offsides. He didn't know it, so we're going to keep that as a regular offsides faceoff. You're going to see a dragon shorten the bench up here, up 4-3. to three. don't know how much you're going to see of those lines 3 and 4 tonight, the rest of the way. Dragons lose a draw but gain control. Maines has it to Pikau. Pikau has it. He puts it in. Haynes deflects it, deflects it all the way in. Kuiper wings it around the goaltender to Orlowski. Orlowski carries it in. He's he's been a uh, one-man wrecking crew tonight. That puck goes to Maines or to Wade. Wade wings it around. Pico can't clear. Luch keeps it in. Maines puts it across, right out to center ice as Young carries it in, but that's going to be offsides. They're doing everything in their power to keep Orlowski on the ice tonight, uh, but they're just running out of gas. I think that kid's probably played 40 minutes. Taylor Jarek on the ice at forward right now. Puck goes to Vandwerf. Vandwerf dumps it to Granicelli. Granicelli keeps control. Still has it. Dumps it deep to dumps it deep to uh, Graham. Graham gives it away, but Graham picks it back up, and he's going to try to keep it deep. Ryberg gets knocked down by Murphy, but Graham picks up the puck, and it gets get, and it gets knocked off his stick by Graham Nikolic. Nikolic's going to carry it out. Great backside pass to number nine. But Basakal's got the puck, and he's rubbed off of it by Mikey Sly. Puck comes to Ryberg. Ryberg, high pass in the neutral zone, but everything's beautiful there as Granicelli just makes sure it stays deep in the Rochester zone. Murphy puts it across. Puck to Taylor. Vanderwerf knocks him off the puck. Granicelli one-on-one -on -one here. I think he's just going to go wide. He's got nice shot. Graham wasn't open, and Graham missed... Granicelli, who was wide open. Ryberg regroups back in their own zone. Number 12, Maines, dumps it in. Ryberg gives chase, can't get control. Puck kept in by uh, Knighting. Jack Knighting. Graham has it in the corner. He's fighting for the puck. He loses control. Ryberg can't catch up. Granicelli giving chase. Orlowski has it again. Orlowski wheels it around to the point man, Alter. Alter fires it. It's blocked. Nice block by number 12, Mains for, for the Dragons. He loses control, but Graham picks the puck up to Jack Knighting. Jack Knighting to Ryberg. Ryberg's able to clear. Dragons are ready to get a change, bring out their top line again. Gatulia has it. He's going to fire it wide from center ice. Wade's going to Skate through it, not to pick up the puck to Chirini. Chirini is on the ice. And what are we calling here? Hand pass. And that puck's going to come out the dragon zone. 2.57 left, 4 3 dragons. And we're keeping our stats guy awake tonight. That puck is a hand pass in the offensive zone. That, that face off is going to come all the way down to the right of. Rochester goaler, uh, United goalie, Kuiper. We got Cole, Chirini, and Graham on the ice. We got a timeout called by uh, United. So let's get this handled right here. Third period read here. Orion Neighborhood Television is hosting its 13th annual food drive benefiting the Oxford Orion Fish Food Pantry. This year's virtual food drive kicks off on Monday, February 6th and runs through Friday the 10th. On TV, we'll be broadcasting live from noon until 2 and 7 until 9 during the week. 
You can tune in and watch on Comcast Channel 10, AT&T U-verse 99, Roku, ON TV's Facebook page, or visit orienttv.org. Help us reach our goal of $5,000 by contributing to our GoFundMe drive. 100% of the funds raised will go directly to the Fish Food Pantry to help those in need. For more information, give us a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org. That's 248-393-1060. Let's donate and get this $5,000 raised. Everyone, let's get that done. We're going to get right back to live action. A little less than three minutes. Three seconds short of three minutes left here in the third. 8 p.m. Thursday night. Home ice. Dragonville. Here we go. Rochester controls the draw. Alter dumps it deep. Vandworth gives chase. He's going to wing it all the way around. And Dragon's going to have a guy there. And he's going to get tripped. But no call. Cole. Had the, had the guy beat, but he got knocked. He got tripped, but they're not going to make that call. Graham gives chase, bumps into Orlowski in the in the uh, United Zone. Orlowski walks around Graham. He walks around. He walks around uh, Wade, but can't seem to control the puck. Out comes Vanderwerf. He's going to go one on one on three, and just keep control. Go to the go to the middle of the rink. We're going to get a hook on Rochester here on United. We're going to get a holder of hooks of the Dragons with 2.14 left, ladies and gentlemen in Dragonville. Uh, are going to the power play, up a goal against arch rival and Crosstown Village Rochester United. So here we go, 2.14 left. So, the and they're going to, they're taking the penalty off the clock, which I don't understand. He's going to get a five-minute. He's going to get a five-minute misconduct, and Dragons are going. To, hold on, hold on one second here. Okay, so he got a double minor, two for unsportsmanlike, two for a hold. So the Dragons are going to be on the power play for the remainder of the game. They got their top line out there. They got, uh, they got, they got double knighting. They got number 12 mains on the point. They got peak out. They got Haynes. So here we go on the power play. Dragons, four minutes left. Two minutes left. Four minute power play. Dragons are going to be on the power play for the remainder of the game. All they got to do is keep control of the puck and try not to be too cute. Keep the puck in the offensive zone. You're going to walk out of here with a W. Pico in the corner to Graham. To Haynes, to Graham. Off the side of the net, Graham gains control. Back to Haynes. Haynes has the puck still. He's going to keep control behind the net. He bangs it off the back then. Very fine play. Pico can't get control. He fires it wide. Graham has it. Hits the open point man. One-timer, ill-advised one-timer by Maines. Shot that shouldn't have been taken. Pico's able to keep control, dump it deep. Graham has it now. At the goal line in the corner. Back to the point to Knighting. Jack Knighting to Graham. Walks the blue line. Fires it low and wide. Loses control. Rochester is able to dump it deep. And number six for Rochester is going to give chase Jack Taylor. Maines just dumps it aimlessly. Rochester. Julek had it, but lost control. Taylor's giving chase to uh, Pico. Pico's got a two-on-two -two with Haynes. The net is empty. All Pico's got to do is keep it deep. It's five-on-five five right now. Wade can't get control. In comes Orlowski, one-on-two. Nice block shot by Graham. <laughs> Haynes has it. Nice play, smart play by Haynes. But that's an icing with 29 seconds left. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to get a timeout by Lake Orion here, Coach Kreskis. Coach Kreskis is going to wait till the last second, I think, to call this timeout. Let's see what happens. And he does call the timeout. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Timeout Orion. They're going to set up the defensive zone faceoff. 
I think. So here we go. One more, one more. Let's pay the bills tonight. Thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting. You can watch Lake Orion Spitz live online all year. We've got a full schedule of varsity basketball, hockey, and more this winter. Plus, concerts and ceremonies that cost less than 11 bucks a month to watch these sporting events. And half that money goes right back to guys like Raymond and the girls over here on the cameras in the uh, Lake Orion High School broadcasting program. Please be sure to designate Lake Orion High School when you set up your account. Get started at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. On TV, thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication to bring Dragon Sports to the world. Well, while we're at it, let's go mobile with On TV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on your mobile devices. Connect to ON TV and see what's happening in our studio. See upcoming events and watch ON TV programs in high definition on demand on TV. Working to bring Lake Orion to the world. And here we go, the shortest, the shortest confab in Lake Orion uh, timeout history. Coach Kresge's got his team out there ready to rock. Orlowski in on the draw against Haynes. Haynes wins the draw and he flips it out. Puck comes out of the zone and giving chase hard and we're gonna get Granicelli. We're gonna get a hand pass from Haynes to Granicelli. Didn't see the hand pass, but the referee was pretty emphatic about that. 23.11 seconds left here in the third. 4-3 Dragons, defensive zone faceoff again. Alter against Haynes. Alter loses it cleanly. Haynes wins it cleanly. And gently around she goes. Young has it to Ryberg. Jurek has it. Can't get control for Rochester. He has it now. Granicelli has it. Puck goes behind the Dragons net. We just have to eat that puck, guys. That's all we do. And they didn't eat the puck, and that's exactly what happens. Number 14 for the Dragons, Vandwerf, played the puck instead of stood on the puck. And here we are, 4-4. They score with 1.89 seconds left as they put, out, put the puck out in front. Short-handed goal for the Dragon for Rochester, and we're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to overtime. And in the world of hockey, every teammate on the ice should have been yelling to his teammate, eat it, eat it. And all he would have had to do was freeze the puck along the backboards with his skates instead of trying to play the puck. And instead, pops out in front and gets knocked in. And here we are uh, going to overtime. I believe. So I don't know what, so I think we got a seven minute overtime and then it ends up a tie. So if we could see that on a replay, which we can't, um, I got a feel for the Dragons. I got a feel for number 14, but he needs some help from his teammates on that. Um, if I had a color commentator here, he'd probably agree with me 100%. But the last thing a broadcaster and his stats man wants when they're volunteering in their time is extra, extra hockey to watch. As I uh, keep knocking Raymond here, keeping him awake. That was a shot on goal, by the way. So... We're gonna get an end switch, and I don't know how long the overtime is. I think it's seven minutes. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Dragons are still on the power play for 146. And let's uh, hope we can knock this thing off in one minute and 46 seconds while they're on the power play. Number one line back out there for the Dragons. Eight minute overtime. The Dragons, fortunate to be on the power play. Um, it was really a five on five goal because they had their goalie pulled, but technically that was a power play goal or a penalty, a shorthanded goal, even though there was five men on the ice. Granicelli puts it across for Haynes. Haynes has it, he's gonna go wide. 
He's going to regroup the puck, put it all the way around the net to Graham. Graham picks it up at the hash. Puts it in front to Haynes. Haynes loses control. To Vandwerf. To, to Graham. Graham's going to walk the blue line. Can't get it to flatten out. Haynes has it. Still has it. Rolling puck. He's firing it. That was a rolling puck. That was high and wide. They, neither one, Graham or Haynes, can get that puck to settle out down. So they're going to leave that puck in the defensive zone, and that puck was not deflected, in my opinion. 107 left on the power play, 721 in OT. The team that scores wins. End of story. Puck's cleared. Granicelli's going to regroup and hand the puck away to Orlowski, but luckily the Dragons end up picking the puck up. Vanderwerf has it. Fires it all the way around on the power play. Haynes is going to let that go right back to his defenseman, Vanderwerf. Vanderwerf puts it all the way back around to Graham. Graham puts it back out. Vanderwerf's going to have to go for it. Orlowski just dumps it. And the race is going to be won by Alter. And Paragi puts it to Vanderwerf. Vanderwerf has a puck. 27 seconds left on the power play. One more rush for the Dragons. Vanderwerf has it to Graham. Vanderwerf, that puck's deflected and blocked. He keeps it in, and Rochester's going to clear, and here we go. Five on five hockey in overtime. Out comes Granicelli, full head of speed. He loses the puck. Vanderwerf has it. Granicelli hauling butt. Haynes has it. He's going to go in, one on three. Toe drag, put it on the net. Kuiper knocks it, steers it clear. Graham has it. Long shift out here for the top line for the Dragons. To Maines, he fires it, it's deflected. Graham picks it up on the backhand. Back behind the net to Haynes. Haynes to Graham. Graham can't seem to get it in front. Orlowski's working hard, Graham picks it up again. Graham loses it. Orlowski clears, Vanderwerf has it. He dumps it off the boards. Nighting, and that's gonna be an icing, and the Dragons will be able to get a full line change here. 5.36 left in overtime. And uh, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dragons, all the pressure in OT, but the first two minutes, minute, minute 40, we're on the power play. Let's see if they can get it done here. Graham knighting Ryberg. Graham wins the draw. Nyberg gives chase. Puck's picked up by knighting, and they're going to call a trip on. And, and here we go. Ryberg. Brain cramp. No excuse, no excuse. He gets the trip, and he gets a two-minute unsportsmanlike conduct, so the Lake Orion Dragons are behind the eight ball here. Give up a goal with one second, 1.89 seconds left on the power play, and then here in overtime, 5.29 left, they take a tripping penalty, defensive zone tripping penalty, an offensive zone tripping penalty, and an unsportsmanlike conduct. When you knew that was coming, and because there's no tolerance here for these officials. So here we are, back to where we started but not started. Haynes and Pikau. And Maines dumps it off his, uh, the screen behind his net. So we're going to redo this face off all over again. So this game is in the balance with the Dragons killing a penalty with uh, Haynes loses the draw to Young, Young to Jurek. He knocks down Dragons player, Maines. Maines fights for it, wins it, but hands the puck to Orlowski. That puck comes clear, and given chase is Haynes. He's going for it. A beautiful pass to Pikau, and he loses control, but Haynes made a nice pass, as he was and he was losing the race. Haynes still has it. Dipsy do, and a great shot by Maines, but here we go, two on one. He one-timer, Orlowski has it. Blocked by Paragi, nice hit, and a huge hit. Huge hit by number 12 Mains on Rochester. Top hit of the game right there. Number one hit of the game right there. Taking a lot of chances here in 
overtime with a hit like that with the way the game's called these days. But it was uh, the nicest hit of the game. We can give it that. So we got, we got the other Graham. We got number 14 for the Dragons out there also. Vanderwerf out there again. Vanderwerf. Graham gives chase. Rochester wings it all the way around. Vanderwerf's going to get it, see if he can clear, which is it's his goal, and he does. Comes out wide. Graham, offensive side of the puck, bad spot. Rochester's got a clear. Orlowski has it. He's tripped. They're not going to call that too late in the game. Good, good no call. And Dragons, Graham is able to clear right on the net for Knighting. 2.35 left in the power play for Rochester. Four minutes left in OT. Orlowski, number 19, has the puck. He's got to be really sweaty and out of gas. That puck comes to Basakow. He dumps it deep off the glass. Dragons go for a wholesale change. Back to their top two forwards. Knighting and Haynes. Orlowski, he's everywhere. Back to the point they set up. They dump it deep around. Orlowski has it. Looking for the open man. Can't get it. That puck's deflected wide. Orlowski has it. Back to the point to Young. He loses control. Can't get it. Haynes has it. Clears. Young bobbling the puck a little bit. He's regrouping in his own end. Haynes is giving a fair look. Pico watching him. Haynes is coming back on the wide side. Orlowski, he's got to be sucking wind so hard he can't breathe. He tries to toe drag Basikow, can't seem to get her done. Wide open in front of the net. And out and, and away comes Haynes, two on one with Pikau. He goes wide, gets in, can't knock it in. Pikau gets a second chance. Nice play by Haynes and Pico on the penalty kill. Everything but going in the net. Dragons able to get control. Number four, Mains dumps it deep. 115 left on the kill for the Dragons. 242 left in OT. 4-4, Dragons and United. United picks up the puck in their own zone. Pico and Haynes got to be sucking wind. Orlowski's been out for seven, for six straight minutes here in overtime. Puck fired wide by Nikolic. Number 12, Mains. If he had, he had Haynes clear. But on the penalty kill, Haynes is, Haynes is uh, risking his life here. Two on one, Haynes and Pikau again. Toe drag, Haynes fires it wide. He had the upper corner, he had him beat and fired it wide. 35 seconds left in the kill for the Dragons. Two minutes left in the game. Big hit by Maines on Myers, not much of a hit, just a bump. Vanderwerf has, he's gonna wheel around, chased by Mikey Sly. Granicelli can't get control. That puck goes deep, held in. Number 14, Mains, or Vanderwerf can't get it. Taylor puts it across, nobody home. Young has it. Granicelli gives chase. He pops it up the boards. Full strength, here we go. Dragons kill off four minute overtime penalty. Vanderwerf working it. Gets knocked down. Three on two low for, the, for Rochester. Come, doesn't come out to the front of the net. Dragons can't clear. Myers has it. Mikey Sly has it, can't get control. Dragons can't get control. Oh, and he didn't see. He had a three on two right there, boys and girls, and didn't see it. Five, 58 seconds left in the game. Four, four. We should all be driving home with a smile on, but we're not. Dragons didn't get her done on the power play. Gave up a shorthanded goal, five on five with the goalie pulled with uh, one minute, 1 1.8 seconds left in the game. Dragons lose a draw cleanly. Oh, puck fired just wide. Knighting to Mains. He's all in, he's in by himself. There's a hook. No call, and that puck is iced, which is fine for the Dragons as they're going to have an offensive zone faceoff with 43 seconds left. 
pretty enjoyable game after the first period. Dragons couldn't get her done in regulation. Let's see if they can get her done in overtime. They killed a four minute penalty. They killed a four minute power play for, for Rochester. Haynes loses the draw, loses control, but it's kept in. Haynes lost his lumber. Out comes Orlowski, going in, one on three. This guy's been everywhere. Puck's knocked wide by Wade. Knighting has it, 23 seconds left. That go, puck goes all the way across to Pikau. He gets control, he's gonna go get it. Body check to Haynes, but Haynes didn't come out in front. 13 seconds left. Pikau has it. Puck doesn't come free to anyone. That's another icing, Dragons will take it. 3.04 left, three seconds left. Let's see how gutsy Coach Grefsky is. Trust your guy to win the draw, pull a goalie, three seconds left, that's my call. You shouldn't be here anyway. Too many guys. Pull them, come on coach, pull them. Haynes loses a draw, game over. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the live stream on ONTV. Orion Dragons versus Rochester United. Ends in a 4-4 tie. Good night, everyone.